T G I F T. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another T G I F T. Thank God it's family time. It's wonderful to be able to gather together in this way, to be able to spend some time uh, as a family thinking about God, from my family to your family. Um, once again, we're going to be taking a peek and seeing what happens with uh, with Jonah as he tries to escape God's call. We have another Minecraft build where we uh, are looking at uh, the, the massive, massive construction of something uh, that was done in response to God's call. We're basically thinking about the different ways that God uh, calls us, the different things that God wants us to do, the different uh, missions God wants us to go on, the different uh, things that God wants us to be. Uh, and I think one of the most important things for us to remember whenever we think about what God wants for us and, uh, uh, and what God wants us to be is to remember what Jesus tells us is the, is the, the, the whole commandments, all of the, the, the golden rule, the, 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 all of the law and all of the prophets, uh, words fall upon two simple commandments that we love God and that we love each other like we love ourselves. So our mission, our goal is always to love. Uh, we're going to be seeing how somebody, uh, how different people respond to that uh, in in our videos today. Uh, so I hope that you're you're ready for some fun. Uh, sit back with your with your uh, with your loved ones, with some family, and uh, and enjoy another TGIFT. <laughs> Last time we left off, Jonah went on a boat to sail away from his mission to go to Nineveh. Finally, God won't be able to catch me here. I won't have to do my mission anymore. And then suddenly, a storm appeared. And then, lightning struck at the water. Oh no, there must be a storm. Okay, what's going on up there? There's a storm. There must be a storm. And also, we might not make it because the boat might sink. I know what I have to do. Jump. Spoosh. Finally, Jonah had thought he's escaped his mission, and then he waited to sink into the water. But then, suddenly, a giant great fish appeared and swallowed him whole. Down the fish swam to the bottom of the sea. Meanwhile, inside the fish's belly, Jonah and sat and fought to himself. I wonder what God has in store for me now. Tune in next time to find out Jonah's fate. So I was hanging out the other day and this fella comes up to me and he says, Hey, you know there's no God. I says, come off it. What are you talking about? He says, well, I ain't never seen God. So God ain't there. I says, well, I ain't never seen you to this very moment. You telling me you weren't there? So there you go. Beep, 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 boop, beep. It's Godly Gaming Time! Welcome to another episode or another part of, uh, of uh, TGIFT, the yes. Godly Gaming section of their day. Uh, today we've got another uh, story, another part of the Bible that we, we did uh, a little bit of a build about. Uh, uh, we took the, the story of the Temple of Solomon. Yes, and, and we built it. And we built the Temple of Solomon in Minecraft. Uh, to to scale to the to the measurements that they say in the Bible. So before we take a look at that, why don't we refresh ourselves on the story of the Temple yes. of Solomon? Yes, definitely. Just in case anyone who is watching and they don't know what the Temple of Solomon is, 
This is it. Yes, it is. Right there. Okay. So uh, uh, here is the story of, of Solomon and his temple. Story of Solomon's temple as found in the Action Bible. To launch his first great building project, Solomon sends a messenger to his father's old friend, King Hiram of Tyre. King Solomon sends his greetings and asks if you will send him your renowned cedar and cypress trees for lumber so that he can build a temple to God in Jerusalem. The two men make a deal, and soon men by the thousands are working in the forests of Lebanon, cutting cedar trees for Solomon's temple. Near Jerusalem, thousands of men toil in great quarries, chiseling out the huge stone blocks needed for the foundation and walls of God's temple. The finest masons work on each piece so that every stone block will fit together perfectly. The cedars of Lebanon, the finest wood known to man, are shipped from Tyre. Some logs are carved into huge pillars, while others are set into place for the roof. Next, bronze is used for the metalwork. Meanwhile, the finest gold craftsmen in the land are working on all of the furnitures and necessities for the temple. Solomon's wish is to have all of God's temple gleam with gold. After seven long years of hard work, the magnificent temple of God is completed. Men and women and children from all over the corners of Israel crowd into Jerusalem to watch the priests carry the sacred ark into the temple. Inside, the Holy of Holies, a dark, windowless, heavily curtained room, the ark is carefully placed beneath the protecting wing of two 15-foot cherubim. Then, before all the people in Israel, Solomon kneels in prayer. Lord, there is no God like you. Forgive and guide your people the way you guided Moses, who brought us out of slavery in Egypt. So we got a chance to hear the story of Solomon uh, uh, getting to build the temple of God um, and getting that, that, that honor. Um, that was something his dad, David, wanted to do, but yeah. David did not get a chance to do that. David made God a little mad, and he didn't get to do it. That's the way it works sometimes. Yes. So, very uh, is. <laughs> very much is. So Solomon got to build the temple, and he built it a very specific way. And in the Bible, they lay out all of the measurements, all of the different ways and, and, and crafts and the things that they did to do it. Um, and we copied that yes, we and did. we, yes, we uh, used uh, some some drawings and some diagrams mm -hmm. that other people have done to kind of help us to to conceptualize it visually. And uh, and so uh, let's take a, yeah. a peek now at, uh, at at this 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 temple of Solomon. Yeah. This is, of course, the ark that yep. uh, that we that built we in our last video. Built. But oh, da, da, da. So big, and yet it is. It is very big, and yet it's kind of. It's. I mean, it's not anywhere near as big as the ark when you look. Yeah. So this is the. This is the the temple of uh, of Solomon. This is the yeah. temple of Solomon. This is the the thing that uh, that uh, kept the the yeah. people of God uh, connected to God for for all of the years that they were the kings of uh, of Israel and Judah, yes. um, particularly Judah. It was in Jerusalem. Yeah. Um, so this is, let's kind of go through and look at mm -hmm. some of this stuff, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we shall. What do you think of this? Uh, it, it looks cool. Oh, ooh, swimming? Yes. This is uh, a, a, a kind of a, a pot for with water for purification. This is where the priests would come to purify themselves before they did all of the rituals. Mm -hmm. And up here? It is where they uh, do all their sacrifices. It is. Mm. Yeah. Delicious uh, steak and a beef and all that stuff on there. I think. Yeah. What do you think? Ooh, ghastly, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Dude. but that's uh, that's the the where the the sacrifices happen. That's yes. the, the the altar, the high altar. Um, and we go inside of the temple of Solomon. Oh, very very tall. Look at how very very tall. And we have all of the we have the 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 Ooh. different candelabras, the yes. menorahs. Menorahs. These are kind very of, beautiful. Very beautiful. They are. They're kind of hard to be menorahs in the way that they properly are. But this is uh, a table where they could lay out offerings, and 
This again is another cauldron where they would would be able to, to do stuff. Yep. Like um, drink. And inside, inside this, do you remember what this room's called? Uh, the holiest of holies. Boom! Boom! Oh, boom! Right there, dude. Yeah. Inside the holiest of holies. What's in the side of the holiest of holies? Do you remember? Uh, gold. Gold. For, gold's everywhere. Gold, yeah. But uh, I'll give you a hint. Uh, Indiana Jones found it in his first movie. Oh, yeah! The uh, jewel. The Ark of the, the Covenant. Ark. The Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is the box that Moses put the oh, Ten Commandments, the tablets of the of the law in. So let's let's see uh, what's in them. In there. Oh, see, it looks there's all sorts of stuff in there, not the law, but this is in fact a box. And on either side of the the Ark of the Covenant yeah, were two seraphim, uh, which are kind of winged lion Lions. creatures. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a whole thing. This is these are supposed to be um, what what a certain rank of angel look like. Um, yes. Yeah, fierce, eh? Yes, it is. You always think of angels as being like. People in choir gowns with wings. Yes. And usually blonde curly hair for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> there we have that they are fierce, uh, giant creature things. Yes. So that's the inside of the temple proper, but that's not the only part of it. Yes, that's definitely not, not, the, we not the only part of it. No, we also have the, the area where the priests would... Uh, live? Uh, Does it live? Yeah, there were uh, there was chambers for them to be able to stay, but this was also where the where different offerings and and uh, treasures would be stored. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember filling chests. That's it. Because the I mean the 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 one thing about temples in the ancient world, um, they were definitely places to worship gods. Um, because there were all sorts of temples in the ancient world. This yes. is the only temple to to the to the to the one god, true god. Yes, um, but the one, the one true God and the one amazing God we have. That's right. Um, but the uh, the the temples were places where wealth was stored in a city. Yes. The Temple of Jerusalem was filled with treasure, filled with gold, filled, and so we we gold. built in this second level. Uh, you'll notice that there's, uh, there's rows and rows and rows of chests. Rows and rows and rows and chests. Lots of places to put lots of loot and lots and of treasures, of booty, bounty, and all that stuff. Um, now, all of the gold that was oh, and here's some some kegs for wine and things like that, yes. and some bales of of grain uh, and straw for uh, for stuff. Um, yes. One of the, the 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 temple in Jerusalem held so much treasure that. Um, it made it the target when uh, when kingdoms tried to invade and indeed did invade and eventually did destroy Jerusalem. So, yes. uh, very very sad tale. It is. Do you remember which? Uh, do you remember which kingdom came and uh, uh, destroyed um, Solomon's temple? One of the temp. One of like a different like an army. It was an army. Type of army. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. Do you remember? No. It was. Babylon. Babylon. The kingdom of Babylon came and Ooh. they destroyed the temple Ooh. and they took away captives from the very, people very, very into sad. into Babylon, into very captivity. Very sad. Very sad. But then, after years of captivity, they were uh, able to, to come back and they were able to return to the land. And when they did, uh, the, the, the new king, the, the king of, of the Persians... Uh, who conquered the Babylonians, gave them permission to rebuild the temple. And when they did, they rebuilt it even bigger, as you'll see Indeed. we're starting to do over here. Yes. So that will be our next uh, godly gaming session, yes. I think, will be uh, uh, the the second temple, uh, which eventually Herod built up and, and, and did all sorts of stuff with. Uh, but... Uh, uh, this uh, this that might take a while, so so we'll we'll have yeah. some, probably another video in between uh, now and then. Yeah. Um, but this is the Temple of Solomon. It is pretty pretty, pretty beautiful, pretty big, pretty big, pretty big. Beautiful, pretty big, but pretty, also kind of small when you think about yeah. it. And also pretty nice to live in, probably. Well, yeah, I mean uh, the the 
uh, they didn't live in that part, but uh, yes. the, the, any quarters that would be attached would be uh, would be quite something. Um, again, when we think of the think of the fact that so the ark is the thing that bears the people through, through yeah. the flood. Um, what's the box in the middle of the temple called again? It's yeah. also called an ark. An ark? Yeah. It so is? it's it's a different kind of ark. So. These are two different arcs uh, that yeah, we've, we we've been able to build yeah, kind have. of in this. Um, and both of them are at different points in the, in the, the story of God's people and, and, and God's journey with God's people. There's the, the Ark of Noah, which, which gets uh, God's people through the flood. And then there's the Ark of the Covenant, which bears their law mm-hmm. through the wilderness and it finds its place, its yes. of place yes. of rest finally yes. in God's temple built by King Solomon. So it's uh, two beautiful. arcs, two arcs back to back right Very there. Very beautiful. <laughs> Do you have any final thoughts for, for about uh, about oh, our Solomon yeah. build? Is that the, the build is beautiful. Very, very, very nice. Very, very nice. You very like that, nice, did you? Yes. Was there any particular part that uh, you found hard or difficult with it? No, not really. Honestly, I really liked it. I found it kind of boring sometimes building the walls because it was oh. <laughs> very high. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Wait, wait, head up. Head up. Head up. For a okay, yeah. And then head down. Okay. Look, it looks like it's going in slow mo. It does, kind of. Well, thank you for uh, for watching this section yes. of uh, TGIFT, the Godly Gaming. We'll have some more Godly Gaming for you another time. Yes. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to do this, and stay tuned for uh, uh, for our next video. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao.